Hello everyone, Sybe Devlin here. I'm the DLR writer in residence. One of the last things I did before all of this craziness happened was to launch an exhibition about the work of Eilish Dillon. Eilish Dillon is an Irish author who wrote lots and lots of books for children. One of my favourite books of hers is called A Family of Foxes. And that's sort of what kicked off the whole idea for the exhibition. You can see the exhibition online at this address. A Family of Foxes is a story about a group of boys who discover some silver foxes washed up on the shore of their island. On the island, there are lots of superstitions about foxes. The grown-ups believe that they're evil, really, that they can turn into humans at night, that maybe they're witches, and if they so much as see a fox, they think it's really bad luck and they won't even go out fishing that day. But the boys sort of fall in love with the foxes and they decide to take care of them. It's a really great story and you should keep an eye out for a copy of it. But one of the things I really loved about this story was those superstitions and those kind of strange beliefs that people used to have in Ireland long ago. One of the things I was wondering was, do we have any of those superstitions or beliefs anymore? And if so, do we pass them on to the next generation? I'm going to show you a picture now, and maybe it might make some of you a little bit nervous. It might make the older people in your family a little bit nervous, but don't worry, it's just a picture. It's not the real thing. Have a look at this picture and see how you feel. Well, did it make you feel nervous? No? What was the picture? It was a picture of one magpie bird, wasn't it? Why would that make anyone nervous? Well, have you ever heard the rhyme about magpies? One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, and seven for a secret never to be told. So if you see one magpie, it's kind of bad luck, isn't it? Maybe you feel a little bit nervous about looking at that picture now. Do you know any other stories like that? How about an itchy nose? Do you know what an itchy nose is supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean you're gonna have a fight, so watch out. How about a hot ear or an itchy ear? That apparently means somebody is talking about you and I don't imagine in a good way. There's lots of other superstitions like that around. Maybe you have some in your family. Why don't you ask the grown-ups in your house or maybe talk on the phone with grandparents or other older members of your family and see if you can collect any that they know. You can give them these examples to see if it jogs their memory. You could write them down and maybe even create a few new superstitions. Make some up, see if you can be really creative. I'd love to hear some of your superstitions. You could share them in the comments below or feel free to email me at this address. Thanks so much for watching. Slow on.